So we're gonna get our little acceleration here. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and today is a good day because we are reviewing a 2023 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon with the AEV JL370 kit added to it. First and foremost though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy, Utah for giving me some time with this Wrangler. This one is available for sale for the time being, so if you're interested, I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check it out. If you have any questions, just ask for Nick or Eric. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time I purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a Natch aspirated 3.6 liter V6 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 285 horsepower and then 260 pound feet of torque. Now you don't have to get the V6 with this. You can also get the Eco Diesel powertrain, the 392, the 20 turbo, and I believe they're even doing this on the 4xe as well. So you can get this with pretty much every Wrangler. Now, before we go over the elements that AEV has added to this Wrangler, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. First off, with the hood here, we do have the Rubicon hood venting there on either side, which is really cool. But notice we've got this little like strip of vinyl that's on the hood to kind of signify it's an AEV. Now we have this menacing front bumper here, which you guys can see that there are cutouts on either side to make it so that your approach angle there with the tires is, well, pretty much infinite if you're rock crawling. It does have fog lights integrated into it, and then you also have those off-road lights with the caps covering them, and it has a worn winch. AEV also adds diff covers for the axle, so here's a diff cover over the front axle, and then there's your diff cover over the rear axle. Now part of the package on this is you do get a steering stabilizer. We have a two and a half inch lift and it is the dual RT sport suspension system if you guys are wondering. AEV uses the 5100 series shocks from Bilstein that have been specially tuned for the V6 Wrangler. If you get a 392 or you know a 20 turbo for example, they'll have shocks that are also specially tuned for those rigs as well, you know, based on the engine weight. And then of course you gotta throw bigger tires on a rig if you're going to lift it. So this has 37s wrapped around 17 inch wheels. And it looks like these are just beadlock style rather than beadlock wheels themselves, but they still look absolutely fantastic. And the setup in the rear is identical to the front. And also look at that rock rail. And then of course you gotta have your AEV badges here on the outside. And then when you put all of that together, look at the front end of this, just looks fantastic. And then you can see from the side angle as well, just absolutely menacing and i mean this thing makes regular wranglers on 33s look like little toy cars the rear shocks are also upgraded to the 5100 series from bill stein we got these little uh, splash guards here on the rear and then we actually have this upgraded bumper as well that comes with this so that you know you can take some impacts if you do some rock crawling we have an auxiliary fuel tank here that looks like it's actually bolted into the frame look at that of course, we got a spare 37 here on the rear and you still have the stock camera there in the center, so your backup camera's not messed up at all. If you're wondering, this definitely does have some heft to it, but I can easily open this up with one arm. I do need to mention that the fuel tank is empty, so it would be a little bit heavier if that did have fuel in it. And then in terms of everything here in the rear, well, it's unchanged. And then here's the rear of this AEV Wrangler. and I guess you guys can really tell now like the difference between this and a regular Rubicon it's just massive this is pretty much stock Rubicon interior but we do have these AEV headrests here for the rear passengers and then the front is pretty much the same so again you've got those AEV headrests but we also have these custom AEV gauges I do want to mention since this is a Rubicon we do have four wheel low and then we do have a sway bar disconnect and front and rear lockers now this is the original window sticker for this Rubicon before it had the AEV kit put on it. So your stock axle ratio is a 4.1 axle ratio. It does get upgraded with the AEV package. We'll go over that in a minute. But anyways, base MSRP 46,000. After all options on this specific one with everything it has is $56,045. 
Now this includes the AEV additions to this particular Wrangler. Now this is all the standard equipment that comes with the JL370 kit. And you can see that the axle ratio is now 4.63, which we'll see how that actually you know performs in the real world in just a moment. But there are some extra options added to this specific one. As you can see, like the differential covers, which I definitely recommend if you're going to off-road because that means you'll never have to worry about damaging that in the future. But after all options, the stickers for seven $79,134. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors throughout the rest of the rear. And I love how the crest and the headrest from AEV is red to match like the Rubicon theme. I think that's pretty cool. But let's set off. So setting off in this JL370 and first off, if you guys follow the channel, then you know that I will soon be putting on, well, part of this kit onto my 392. The thing that's really cool about AEV is you can actually purchase parts of their package independently. So like if you just want the lift and the wheels and the shocks, you can do that. You don't have to buy this whole, you know, $17,000 kit, which I think is really smart. And, you know, it's just really cool that you can do that. And that's what I'll be doing with my uh, Rubicon in the near future. But anyways, uh, something to mention. With uh, Bill Steins, they definitely are a firmer shock when it comes to um, both on-road and off-road handling, which on the surface might seem like something that you wouldn't be too fond of, but it helps out with handling a massive amount, especially with the Wrangler, because the Wrangler is kind of floaty all over the place. So this kind of gets rid of some of that floatiness. And so it actually handles really well. Um, tire pressure set in the low 30s uh, for this, if you guys are wondering. We're gonna get our little acceleration here. You know what, for a V6, that ain't too bad. And again, you can get this kit with other powertrains. You can get it with the EcoDiesel if you want, you can get it with the 2.0 turbo. Like I said, I'm pretty sure you can get it with a 4xe, and then I know you can get it with a 392. And so yeah, it, it moves the 37s just fine. Like it's it's not a problem whatsoever. Um, but I was saying about the top insulation before I was interrupted by a bug flying in my face. <laughs> um, I'd recommend getting it from the factory if you can, but you, you can get it uh, after the fact. And so, yeah, you know, overall, I really like the driving experience with this. Uh, again, the, the Bilstein shocks help out quite a bit with the handling and the steering stabilizer also helps out quite a bit with this kit as well. Because instead of having, like there's still a little bit of vagueness, but instead of having crazy amounts of vagueness with the steering, I can somewhat feel uh, what's actually happening with the whole front end of the Wrangler. And I feel like when I turn the wheel, it actually turns the vehicle. Like my 392, it's it's kind of scary because you have like tons of power and it's just wishy-washy all over the place with the suspension and with the steering. Whereas this is a lot tighter. It feels a lot more like a modern uh, vehicle. So I really appreciate that. And um, you know, 37s on a Wrangler, I mean, it, not only does it look good, but it helps out with ride quality a bit, right? You've got a little bit uh, more compression with the tire, right? The tire kind of acts as like a second shock absorber. And the axle ratio is really helping out. Again, if this only had 33s like a stock Rubicon, you wouldn't need the, you know, upgraded axle ratio. This has the 4.63, but because this has 37s, it, I would definitely say that you need it with this uh, V6, you know, with the... Other powertrains, maybe not necessarily, but it's still fun to have because it makes the acceleration a whole lot better. It just makes everything a lot better. So overall, I'm, I'm a huge fan of this kit. That's why, again, I'm gonna be doing this upgrade on my Wrangler in the near future once I get a little bit more time in my schedule. And uh, so yeah, if you're looking for basically a reliable, uh, durable, I do need to say that as well, because like stuff like the diff covers and everything, it makes a huge deal uh, when you're out in the middle of the wilderness, uh, off-road package. That's what this AEV kit gives you. It really elevates the Wrangler. It makes it so it drives a lot better on-road and then it gives you extra capability off-road. And I can tell you, as someone who owns a Wrangler with 35s, having 35s, like you can conquer like 99% of stuff without even trying. The Wrangler with 37s, it's like cheating. Like it's so much ground clearance, it's so much tire. And with those bumper cutouts and everything, like unless you're doing like a 10 out of 10 in Moab, <laughs> there's not a lot that's gonna be able to even like push this rig uh, while you go out and about in the world. And so yeah, I am all about this thing. And they got a Gladiator too that has the AEV kit. So 
uh, whether you want the truck version or the SUV version, they have both of them here at the uh, Sandy dealership. But let me know what you guys think about this kit. Let me know what you think about the looks. Let me know what you think about the driving uh, dynamics with this. Uh, let me know if you prefer like the squishiness with the Wrangler. Like, do you prefer that it goes, you know, squishy side to side, or would you rather it be more firm like what this uh, package provides? And there you go. That's gonna sum things up with our video on this AEV Wrangler. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Schmiller Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy, Utah for giving me some time with this Wrangler. Check out their inventory in the description down below. As for Nick or Eric, if you have any questions, I'll see ya.